beautiful morning here. Today, I'm going to show you how I like to harvest a dragon fruit. So this beautiful Laverne Red is actually a Laverne Pink because I tried the small fruit yesterday. It was ripe. And lo and behold, this was mislabeled. This is a Laverne Pink. So how do I know when it's ripe? Well, first, Pay attention when I cut this because you want to do the V cut. You want to cut it in a V so that way you'll prevent rot. This is not a v very good V cut and water could get stuck in there and cause rot. So uh, in addition, I have to harvest my fruit before it splits. If it, we get a split, we're going to have ants in it uh, almost immediately. So they like dragon fruit more than me. In addition, um, I consider climate and weather. During the growing season, this uh, if you live in a really humid and warm environment, you're going to harvest quicker. In San Diego, for example, it's been cooler and foggier this entire season, so all the dragon fruit varieties are slower to ripen, in my experience. Um, <clears throat> we're on day 45 right now, and definitely, I would say this is almost ready. It's gonna need another day or two. So I'm gonna leave this on the plant a little longer. And I know this because also the color, I think the color's just about there for what I like. Almost all that green has faded off. It's a really nice size in addition to the color. And, you know, you need to be careful because say Asunta 4, that, you pick that ripe when it's still green. So you also need to do what I call or everybody calls the wiggle test. So it's definitely on the stem. So it's still on there pretty tight. So this has a few more days. Um, that's the wiggle test. And then in addition, I like to look up really close on the skin and look for any wrinkles before. It tends to wrinkle before it splits. So. I definitely think that this can take another day or two to get a little bit sweeter here. So I can also call it the squeeze test. It feels like there's a lot of resistance, so it's really, really firm in there. I don't like to squeeze it too hard and bruise it. So it's just about ripe. Now I'm really excited to see how this brick scores because when we got this in, when was that? April, May, it had, flower buds on it and it was in a two gallon pot you can see there it's two gallon pot it's very small so a two gallon pot and it was severely root bound it's been in that pot since it was new it had all the nursery stickers on it so I think I can get a pretty sweet fruit I've been using vermistera earthworm casting tea every week on it so let's give this a few more days we'll cut it off and we'll go see how it scores. Okay, it's been two days and you can see that's the wiggle test. I think it's ready. I need to even go another day or two, but I'm ready to eat this. So watch carefully how I do this V cut. What you wanna do is you could go ahead and you gotta hold the fruit. You're gonna wanna cut it in the shape of a V here. And I learned this from my dear friend, Danny Loftus. And he says that he gets no rot when he does this method. So I get a little bit better cut there. There. All right. And I guess I didn't quite cut it here the first time. Sorry about that. There. That's perfect now. So the reason why you want to do this is you can look. It will allow the fruit to survive longer in the being refrigerated or even out on the counter because it has some of the energy in here versus if you pull it off all the way. Now I did notice also, what, this is the main reason why I pulled it off, it looks like some of the moisture from these foggy mornings in Southern California are starting to damage the skin of the fruit here. So it's definitely time that looks like rust. But it's not gonna mess with the fruit inside, so that's okay. So in addition, I'd like you to really focus on this wound now. So you can see here, let's see right there, you can see that now as it calluses over, the water has nowhere to go versus in here, it could probably set or sit in there. So since this was such a bad angle with these two fruits here, I'm gonna recut this V-cut. 
Oops. There. And so now, this is gonna heal nicely and you'll get no rot. And then we'll still get some, hopefully, some fruit from these little, under these thorns here, aerials next. Okay, there it is. So give us a like and a subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day and take care. Thank you.